This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and this is Lenovo ThinkPad X201T. This is Lenovo's revision of the X200 tablet series and this guy is even faster and lighter than the previous ThinkPad X200 tablet model. So you can see right now we do have it in tablet mode with this optional larger 6 cell battery down here that functions like a handle and you've got the usual set of controls here for rotating the screen, locking, power and indicators and you've got the fingerprint reader here this is your wireless antenna this is your webcam that's optional it's a 2 megapixel webcam and this is a convertible tablet so if you release the hinge see how it swivels right here you go back to traditional computer mode it's the usual excellent ThinkPad build quality the usual matte grippy surface here and you've got the trackpad here and the eraser point pointing device very nice keyboard very large given that this is a 12.1 inch tablet think vantage button volume controls power button again over here and on the side we've got VGA port gigabit ethernet USB monitor control vents since this does have a core i7 in it, pretty amazing for a 3.7 pound, 12.1 inch notebook. Back view again. On this side, this is where you put in the stylus. And here, it's an active digitizer. This particular model does not have the multi touch option that is available, but this one has the outdoor viewable 400 nit brightness display that we'll show you later outdoors. Another USB port modem, audio, and the USB port. Hinge on this is two-way latch for when you have it in tablet mode versus convertible mode to close it. And on the bottom here, standard looking ThinkPad. This whole thing is the battery over here. This gives you access to upgrade things like memory and more vents. Here's the top view. It looks like your typical ThinkPad. Rectilinear front edge. And this is your SD card reader right here up front. This space over here is the door that you remove if you want to access the hard drive. You can get conventional hard drives all the way up to 500 gigs and you can get an SSD option for about $300 more. So it automatically switches orientation when you, you put it in this mode here and there's the button you can rotate it any which way you want, all four ways around. Since I'm left handed I'm going to leave it in this orientation since I like to hold the battery in my right hand. This is a Wacom digitizer. So you're going to check out a little drawing and pressure sensitivity. We're at Sketchbook Pro right now. And light pressure. Incredibly light pressure, heavy pressure. So that works just fine. Typical Wacom enabled experience. Next, we're going to take a look at Photoshop CS4, which by default, this just says Microsoft generic Wacom drivers did not take advantage of pressure sensitivity, so I had to download the Wacom Bamboo drivers. They always seem to work the best with tablets to give you the drivers that you need to use Photoshop. Okay, here we are in Photoshop CS4, and uh, like I said, I've installed the Wacom Bamboo drivers on Wacom's website, so we have pressure sensitivity right here, doing the light, barely touching on their kind of strokes, and then heavy strokes. We're zoomed in on the document right now, so it looks a little bit grainy. We will zoom out a bit. There we go. Big heavy pressure right here. It, it's not as good as, say, in um, Alias Sketchbook or in something like Art Rage, but it does the job. It's useful for dodging and burning and other things. The ThinkPad X201 tablet ships with a, a fairly powerful CPU for a tablet. This comes with the Intel Core i5 640LM, which is a low power Core i7. Now, this is two cores, not four cores, like in some of the bigger notebooks that have come out, but it is hyper-threading, so you get four threads of execution, which means it's pretty darn fast. It's also capable of virtualization, 
and it can do speed step up to 2.93 gigahertz from the base speed of 2.13 gigahertz. That's where it puts a couple of cores together or threads together to work as a faster CPU. This is a 32 nanometer process CPU and it uses 25 watts. So that's incredibly low power for a very powerful CPU. Comes with between 2 and 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM. Uh, we recommend getting 4 at least. And the uh, hard drives run from about 250 up to 500 gigs. You can get 5400 or 7200 RPM. And again, an SSD option is available. There are three displays available for this. You can get the outdoor viewable, which is the one that we have, which does not have touch. Just works with the active digitizer. You can also get one that is multi-touch and has an active digitizer. And you can get one that is just what they call the wide view. One that doesn't have multi-touch and it's 270 nits of brightness versus 400. So it's really more for indoor use. It's plenty bright for indoor use. Though. Bluetooth, Gigabit Ethernet, and Intel Wi-Fi 802.11n are standard. You can get mobile broadband in the form of a Gobi 2000 modem with the ThinkPad as well. Again, it weighs 3.57 pounds with the force cell battery, so this is one of the most powerful yet portable tablets on the market. Of course it does come at a price. This starts at about $2,100 and goes up to, depending on the options that you choose, about $2,800 if you want to get an SSD in the outdoor viewable display. But if you need sturdy ThinkPad, usual excellent build quality, the, the very good viewing angle that this display has, say if you're doing graphic arts, this is superior to the HP Touch Smart TM2, which is a tablet that we love, but it has a lot of glare and it doesn't have as wide a viewing angle as this. If you're doing serious artwork, this is well recommended. In fact, we'll just compare this to the TM2 for a minute. So now we're comparing the ThinkPad X201 with the HP Touch Smart TM2 tablet that we recently reviewed. You can see that the HP is, well, it's prettier, you know, it has a, a lovely etched metal design that certainly appeals to consumers and graphics artists from the aesthetic standpoint versus the ThinkPad's kind of business dirty look. But that's less important than what's inside to a lot of folks. So now we have the, the HP TM2 on the left and the Lenovo X201 on the right. You can see there's more glare on the HP and it has less color saturation. The extra thousand dollars that the Lenovo costs you does get you something. Here we have the Lenovo ThinkPad X201T tablet with the outdoor viewable display. This is a $325 option, but it gets you a 400 nit brightness display that has very low reflectivity, it's like 1.2% reflectivity. So as you can see, we're outdoors, it's a bright sunny day, blue skies, March under Texas sun, and we're standing outdoors in the shade. And this looks just about as good as many notebooks do when you're sitting indoors in much more ideal lighting. You can see the web browser here, very easy to read everything, plenty of color saturation. You want to see text in your start menu, all very easy to work with. Control panels, like no problem. Really beautiful outdoor display. Now we're going to walk it over into direct sunlight. And here we are in direct sun on a bright, clear, sunny day with blue skies. And as you can see, it's not as wonderful looking as it is indoors, but it's certainly easy enough to see what you're doing. You can see the menus, you can read the text, you can see the icons down here, these little guys even, no problem. There you go, web page. So this is a Lenovo X201 tablet, just available now in March from Lenovo. And I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website to read the full review.